Okay, folks, we are back again with another installation video. This video is about installing Pentaho data integration on Windows 10. Uh, Pentaho data integration, or as we like to call it, PDI, is a software development tool used to create ETL transformations. What is an ETL transformation, you may ask? Well, ETL stands for Extract, Transform, and Load, and it is basically the mechanism by which we uh, pull data from uh, a source, we transform it, we add to it, we, we convert it, if you will, and then load that into a target data warehouse. So if you had some source data sitting in your transaction processing database, you would write PDI transformations to access and convert that data transform it and load it into your data warehouse. Uh, so PDI is a very flexible tool. It has dozens and dozens of features. It supports many different types of data, formats of data, as well as many different database management systems. To, um, well, let's see. So PDI is a Java program. It was written in Java. Therefore, it requires a Java development kit or JDK in order to run. The version of PDI that we're going to work with is 8, uh, specifically I believe it's 8.2, and that requires Java Development Kit 1.8. If you did not yet install the Java Development Kit, please go back and do that first and make sure that you have set your Java home environment variable. That's quite important in order to make uh, PDI work properly. The other good news is PDI has no setup or install program. You just download it, you unzip the file, and you can run it. You can install it on your local hard disk or on a USB drive, uh, pretty much anywhere you like. The convention that I like to use is to create a folder on the C drive uh, called Pentaho. So let's go ahead and do that first. I'm going to use the Windows File Explorer. I'm going to go over to my C drive. I will right click, uh, right click, bring up this menu and create a new folder. And I'm just going to call this Pentaho. Okay, so that's taken care of. Now when we download and unzip the file, it'll go inside here in Pentaho. All right, I have taken a copy of the Pentaho data integration tool and I've included a bunch of extra JDBC drivers. These are used to connect to different types of databases. And I've also included the support for the Oracle wallet. Uh, the Oracle wallet is an additional configuration that we'll need when we wanna connect to the Oracle cloud. So you can download it from uh, Hitachi's and Pentaho's website, but I prefer that you actually get this copy because it's already, um, had a bunch of configuration steps done for you. So I'm just gonna grab that URL, copy that, and then I'll go to a web browser and paste that in, and the download will begin. It's actually quite large. I think it's about two gigabytes in size. So I'm gonna pause my recording while that downloads and I will resume once it is finished downloading. Okay, so we are back and the file has downloaded. So let's go ahead and show that in our downloads folder. As I mentioned, it's just a simple uh, zip file. We just need to uncompress it or extract it. So we're gonna right click on it and choose extract all. If you have a different decompression program like WinRAR or 7-zip, you could use that as well. I'm gonna use the one built in with Windows. I'm gonna say extract all, and then the place we're going to extract this is in our Pentaho directory, which we, we created this, this folder previously. So don't just accept the default here, actually put it into a, a folder uh, on your C, D, C, C drive or D drive or, or someplace. And we'll go ahead and hit extract and off it goes. All right, so this is gonna take a little while. Again, I'm going to pause my recording. I will be back in a few minutes.
Okay, so that took a few minutes, but now we have our data integration folder. So notice we're located on the C drive in Pentaho, and we have this nice new data integration folder. There's quite a few files here to run, but the basic one that we will use to get going is called spoon.bat. Uh, that's on Windows, and that's the program that we're going to run in order to, uh, to launch Pentaho data integration. Just as a quick check before we run that, I'm going to go um, uh, open up a command prompt and ensure that our Java home is still set. So I'm just going to click on the start menu here, type CMD for command prompt, and go ahead and open that up. And I just want to echo my Java home environment variable, make sure that that is set, and just double check on my Java version. All right, so that looks pretty good. So one of the ways that we can run this is we can change our directory. to pentaho slash data integration. We use the cd command to do that. And then we can run our spoon.bat just by typing it that way. Right, there's a little bit of debugging information that I added, which again is why I wanted to, uh, to have you use uh, my copy. Um, so just you can sort of see in the background here, it's using the Java home. It's found the right Java version. So all of this is just kind of my way of, of debugging information. If there happens to be a problem, we can always refer to this. Uh, I will actually ask you to email this content to me. All right, a couple of things that will happen here. Um, the data integration tool wants to open up a couple of little database servers. So we need to allow Java to have this access. So we'll just click allow access. We'll get a second one. We'll say allow access again, and then it should run. So now we have the Pentaho data integration program running, which is actually called Spoon. And again, we'll have some uh, different tutorials that will show you how to do things like create new transformations using all of these fun uh, different, different steps here, right? But that is, for another tutorial. To get out of Spoon, we can now just do file and exit, and we are done. So that's one way that we can run the uh, data integration tool. Uh, again, open up a command prompt, change your directory to where you have downloaded and unzipped, um, sorry, unzipped the data integration program and then run spoon.bat. The advantage of this is that you get to see all of this debugging information, which could be helpful to us if you run into problems. The other way is if you just use File Explorer and navigate into same place, Pentaho data integration, and then just double click on spoon.bat, uh, you might get this uh, little notice here that uh, Windows to Microsoft Defender has uh, stopped us from running things. Uh, if you just do additional information, you can say run anyway, and I believe it will remember those steps. So this is another way to uh, go ahead and run Pentaho data integration. The advantage of this is that you can just quickly navigate and double click on spoon.bat. The disadvantage is that um, if there's any debugging information, it's lost because that window disappears very quickly uh, before the uh, PDI tool launches. All right, should take another second to start up here. And we are back to where we were before. Okay, so that's about all I have for this video. And I uh, will see you in the next one.